Right, here's the drum kit in your face. Sit yourself down and um, the first thing we'll do is I want you to fill the drum kit because on this drum kit we've got today is um, there's a drum missing. What? Which one? We feel around, feel around, work out which one's missing. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. So I've been teaching, what, over 20 years. I think Nafis was probably the first blind student I've ever taught. Yeah, go on. There's a stick. There's a six. So oh, just, wow. just feel the drums, where is it? Oh, that's a bit cracked. Yeah, a bit worn out. So just... The first thing was naming the instruments. Oh, and, yeah. you know, I said, right, Phil, this is the ride symbol, Nafis. This is to the right of you. And I got him to put both hands over the ride symbol. And then I would tell him what part you hit and what the sounds make as you hit different parts. So that was kind of his first lesson, as it would be for all students. And then showing the position of the drums, and the use of the foot and the right foot, left foot. So he literally went through with his hands on every single instrument, including the bass drum, so he could get a picture in his mind of where the positions were. And it's so, so important that the drum teacher remembers the setup of the drum kit the same every lesson. Now, I want you to hear um, a grade seven piece, oh. which we haven't done yet. So this is called Lemon Lemon Super Trooper, The Trooper. Yeah? What? Duper Duper, Lemon Trooper. Did you hear a bit of that? Right, right. click it first. One, two, it's quite fast. One, two, three, four, one, two, strawberry, a bam. Three, four, one, two, bat, a bat. One, two. And that's what? the intro. Right, so we're going to do it slow to start with. So, first beat, T, you've got the floor tom, you've got the snare and the bass. T, two, three, four, one, two. You do a flam on the snare. Now, really quickly, you go T, bucket of coffee. When you read music, the convention is to go, if we said we've got four semi quavers, you would go one eander, two eander, three eander, four eander. We're going to do it really slowly. If you use a drink instead of counting, it's easier to access really complex rhythms. So as an example, four semi-quavers, as I said, is one eander, two eander. We call it Coca-Cola. It's a lot easier to say. And then you could go two semi-quavers and a quaver, apple juice. So straight away, when you're teaching, you go Coca-Cola, apple juice, and you get the kids to say it. T is the flam. Buck. Right hand, no, let's have a look. Yeah, right hand, buck on the snare. Left hand to the high tom. Right hand to the floor tom. And then cough on the foot. And then fee, crash in the foot. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, bang. What a little. So tea, bucket of coffee. And once you've learnt those drinks from the cabinet, they grasp some complex rhythms really quick. One. We're going to do it really slow though for these. One, two, three, four. T. Remember T floor okay. tom snare drum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Big. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. The drink cabinet really helps, sighted and non-sighted. If we're talking specifically about blind students, the accessibility is there as it would be for a sighted child. Obviously, the only difference is they get to see the rhythms on paper, and that really is the only, only difference. That's exactly what's happened with Nafis. And of course, his memory is just fantastic. So everything I tell him the first week, he remembers the next week. He doesn't forget anything. Tea, buddy, coffee, tea. So you could look at it as tea, lemonade, coffee. Da, 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 da. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, oh. Well, last time, last time, and then we'll finish. Two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two. Yes, got it. One, two. Improvisation. Dun, dun, dun. Your favourite. Right, oh. you ready to have a listen to it? Oh. 
on the right. It's on the right. I think I've got it. It's on the so you got that bit right, it's on the ride, and then you're using a cross stick. So look, let me just take your hand a minute. Yeah. So remember how you do it. You hold your hand like that and you lift up from there and you get that now. That touch is really important because then they visualise. You know, you, uh, politely say, right, Nafis, please put your hand on my hand, feel how I'm holding the stick, so that he can feel the stick through the fulcrum of the finger and that the other fingers are loose underneath and he, he feels that. Right. So you're playing normal groove and, and the rhythm goes boom, 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 That. That's it. Yep. Right, so what I want you to do, to do now, yep. you lift up your heel, lift up your heel and you're going to go one, two. So you're going to go boom, tap, boom, tap. Roll that foot up. Boom. Oh, that is going to be hard. Yeah, well, you've got to try it, try it. So you're going to roll that foot like that. One, two, boom, 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 boom. Right, try and play that groove with that again. What? Yes, you can do it. 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 Go on, try it then. Try it. Oh, wow. That's it. It's a new rhythm that he's learning, and you've got to use both feet and two hands. I think sighted would find it just as difficult at this level. So, what have we got now out of that? What have we got to do now? Feel. Feel. So, what feel should we put in it? What drink should we go? We're going to go coffee, coffee, Coca Cola, coffee. Try yeah. that. So, go coffee, coffee, Coca Cola, coffee. Right, so boom. Coffee, coffee, cocoa, the coffee. That's it, right? Let's go back to it. So, so remember, when do we put the fills? What bar? Fourth or eighth bar. Fourth or eighth or twelfth or sixteenth. Anything in those divisions of four. Right, get the groove going. And then. Above all is a social activity. And while it's great having one-to-one -one instrumental lessons, the really crucial thing, the best bit, is to make music with other people. If you can't see, it's no barrier to playing in an ensemble. Nappy solo! To begin with, it may be necessary to give people discrete cues, for example, by touching them on the shoulder or the hand when it's time to come in. You may even have to tell people, it's now it's your turn. But the idea is that over a number of rehearsals, the musicians will intuitively come to understand their part in playing together.